Simple and Out has a number of amazing reports that allow you to get down into the details of your organization and what's happening. Today, we are going to focus on the time card report. This is one of the more popular reports we offer because it allows you to calculate aggregated time, which works out really well if you're trying to use Simple and Out's data for things like payroll or uh, just basically a top cover kind of overview of whether or how long your users have been in and out. So let's take a look at some options here we provide for our time card report. So right here, um, you'll see the very first thing we'll have to decide is when would we like to run this report? Uh, in this case, I'm just going to pick to run it for two weeks. By default, this will always pick the last full week um, in your calendar uh, just right out of the gate. But you can run this under any time period you'd like. Um, and then we have a filtered users. So by default, this will run for all of our users across the organization. But perhaps we would like to filter that down into something a little bit more reasonable. So here, for example, um, we could utilize groups. So for example, I have a group in our company here called Mortgage Consultants. And you'll see that that is going to run it now for 15 users who are in that particular group. I can also add additional users um, and run this for one-off users. So maybe, for example, I'm going to run this for Sarah Smith as well. And you'll note that that didn't change our account because Sarah Smith must also be in the Mortgage Consultant group. But we could add individual users or groups uh, to run this for everybody. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click Run, and let's take a look at what this does. So as you can see here, if I scroll down a bit, this is going to provide uh, little bar charts for every single day, along with the hours and minutes that a user was available that day. We also then aggregate that total time over the course of the entire period here at the end of the report, so you can see exactly how many minutes and how many hours users were available. Uh, so for example here, you can see nobody was working on Sunday in this case, nobody was working on Saturday, and then we have individual days depending on when users were checking in, checking out, being in different statuses. Uh, you can see that we have a user here who must have took the afternoon or the morning off, and we have a user here, a couple of users, who look like they were gone for an entire day. Now, if you're an administrative level user, you could click on any of these days to drill in further and see what's going on. In this case, I am an administrative level user, so I can see that in this case, this user was in at 8 to 12 a.m., was out for the day at noon, and uh, I can even edit these statuses. We have an entire separate video on editing past statuses, uh, so you can go ahead and check that out. Now, we do have some advanced options. So let's take a look at what those would look like over here. So here we have advanced options. I'm going to click. This is going to open up some additional information. So the first thing I'll draw your attention to, totaling these statuses. By default, the time card report will automatically total up the statuses users are in in or remote or busy statuses. Uh, we have an entirely separate video on um, statuses in Simple and Out, and these will depend, of course, on what your administrators allow. Um, but you can say, well, maybe I only want to calculate some time, or I want to add break time, for example. You could do this, and now break time will be included in our total aggregating time. We also have the hours in a workday progress bars. By default, our progress bars uh, are eight hours long. Now, of course, the numbers will always be the same. But maybe you work in 12-hour shifts and you would like to see a 12-hour time period instead. Uh, if I go ahead and click rerun this report, you'll see all of our little progress bars got a little smaller uh, due to the fact that the progress bar to be 100% full now would require 12 hours, which is pretty swell. Um, you'll also then notice here that uh, we have only these comments are considered. This allows you to use a comment filter to further restrict the times to something you might be looking at more targetedly. So for example, maybe I'm only looking for people who are working from home. Um, if people are using uh, a comment like working from home, I can go ahead and type HOME in here and hit run. And now we're only calculating the time users were working from home. In this case, we can see Daniel Rogers must have had a comment with the word home in it. And then finally, we have a time zone control here as well. Uh, so it will, by default, always pick the time zone you happen to be in. Uh, but at the same time, if you're traveling, you could adjust the time zone so you can see it in the time zone of your choice. Uh, and so that is also available to you. And so that is the time card report. Again, a great report to aggregate total time and to see how long your users have been available.